Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how to create apps using ChatGPT with Python. So, the steps that we're going to do today is how to generate code in uh, using ChatGPT, how to run the code in Python environment how to run the apps the application output in Python right so specifically here I'm going to be using a Python development environment and I'm going to be using ChatGPT to generate the Python code, which will allow me to paste it into the Python environment and run it and to see the app output. So the tools that we'll be using is, of course, ChatGPT in the browser. And then I'll be using something called Thony, which is a Python development environment. It's known as an IDE, which stands for an Integrated Development Environment. Now, you can use any Python development environment if you're comfortable with the um, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm. It all depends on you. I'm going to be use, using Thony specifically because it's, um, it's very easy to use. It has a very simple user interface. It's great for beginners who have no programming background. It's great that you just want to, if it's you only want to be able to run Python uh, code, uh, it's very easy, very user intuitive, and very user friendly. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first step is uh, download Thony, which is the Python development environment. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to have any kind of program experience to run this. You don't, have it, you don't have to have a technical background. You can do this as a beginner. You can do this if you have absolutely zero technical or development experience. You don't have to have any kind of programming language background in the past. It's, it's very easy, and I'll show you exactly the steps on how to do this to be able to create apps, run analysis on Excel, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first step is you want to be able to go to thony.org uh, let me just so once you go to thony.org um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below and you can, uh, you can click on it or you can just google it right there and this is the basically the, the thony python development environment you can just download the version for your windows os or mac whether you're using a map you can download the mac version if you're using windows you can download the windows version once you download and install it just open it from the program and that will allow you to see the Thony development environment. Uh, let me just change it right here. Um, one second. It's right here, I think. You should be able to see this. Okay, you should be able to see um, you should be able to see this um, right here fact let me just clear this uh, once you open it you should be able to see this and this and this kind of background you may not see this or this um, I think by default um, just do a quick test just write one plus uh, four and hit enter and you should get an answer five uh, I'm just here testing to make sure your Python um, interpreter works or the Python compiler works. Another test you can do is print 1 plus 7 and you should get the answer 8 which means this confirms that your Python compiler actually works and it's working because this, this is basically the Python compiler which will enable you to run the code. Okay let's do a quick um, summary or a quick inter uh, let's say an overview of the interface here. Um, you're going to see this, which is like an Explorer window on the Thony, which allows you to be able to check what's, um, like, let's say your, uh, your, it's just like a Windows Explorer. You can see all the different files and folders within your um, in, uh, documents folder. 
I do recommend um, from here, from your user directory or your user folder, just go ahead and create a new folder and let's say call it a new directory, just call it uh, Python lessons. Okay, and that's going to give you this, right? And uh, once you have this, you can click on focus into, it will take you directly into that environment. From here, you can create some new files and you can run your Python code here, and then you can start compiling all the code and so on, right? If you want to change the settings of the views, you just go to Tools, Options, and here you have the different options to configure your, your, um, your themes. So let's say you want to go to, this is clean dark blue, or if you want to keep it Windows, and then you want change only the syntax theme which is default dark blue for example I prefer it this way um, the syntax is basically the code that you'll be running on the environment and then I prefer for it to be dark you might like it a white background you might like it dark it all depends on you and I'm just gonna keep it right here just because it's easier to see if you want to have it completely all blue just go back to tools uh, options and then you can have the theme windows just make it completely dark blue that's going to change the whole thing into a dark environment or a, a dark blue or dark background environment. All right, I'm going to keep it uh, right here. Okay, and this will allow me to uh, uh, test and run my code. So in this section here, on the very top, you'll be running your code. Okay, on uh, the section here is the Python interpreter. For you to run the code, you click the play button or you can also click F5. Okay, Control S or save is going to be saving it, uh, saving the, 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 the file which is based on the script files of Python. Okay, for well, this is an example right here. So let's do a quick, um, a quick app that we want to be able to generate. First step is um, I want to be able to, let's say, um, I want to create, I'm going to use this prompt right here, right? So I'm going to use this prompt right here, which I want to use for ChatGPT to generate the Python code. So we will use ChatGPT to generate the Python code for app. Okay, and the prompt where I'll be using is this. I want to create 50 text files. Each text file should contain a different boy's name in Italian inside it. Write me a Python script for that. So this is the prompt which I want to be able to use. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put the prompt in the description. You can just copy and paste it. And then I'm going to go to ChatGPT. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that prompt here. And I'll hit Enter. And then it's going to generate the code for me in Python. Okay. Once it finishes generating the code, it might take a couple of minutes. And then you can just copy the code into Python and run it. Okay, that's the code right here. And here's the description about the code that it generated. So what I'm going to do here, I'll get copy code. And then I'm going to go into my Python environment. And let me just close this. No, and close this. And here, first create a new file. Call it lecture one dot Pi. Make sure you have to put dot .py so that Thony can recognize this as a Python script. Click OK and then just paste the code right here. Let me just clear this. Okay, so now you have the code. Okay, it gives you all the options um, in the code. And then I'm going to go and click Run run the current script, which is the script which I want to generate right here. Save it. Once I click save, it will generate the, the Python script right here. And then I'll click run. Now, 50 files have been created successfully. This confirms that the 50 text files have been created successfully. So what do you do? You go back to your file explorer here. You go back to the, the Python lessons that you created. And here you're going to see the, the folder created with the different names that you run based on the Python script that you generated in here. You can click on each one to see 
the results, Alessandro, David, Domenico, and these are all the 50 names, 50 Italian boy names, right? You, don't go, you want to go back to Python lessons, you want to look at your script. So these are the 50 names that generate based on the array that it generated, and then it automatically created this into a folder on your uh, PC or your or your uh, your documents. If you want to confirm this, you simply go to your file explorer, right, and go to users. Right, so go to users, then go to user. That's your username, and then go to Python lessons, and then you see the text file generated in there which is the boys' names that you've just created, right? It's simple as that, it just took minutes, right? I simply run the code, I generated it, and then I go ahead and uh, run it on Thony. See how easy that was, right? So this allows me now, it gives me infinite opportunities to be able to generate Python code directly on ChatGPT and be able to copy it and paste it into the Thony environment and be able to generate and run that code and get the results output. Imagine the possibility that you can now run and create web apps using simply generating the code from ChatGPT and deploying it on a Python and running it, right? In the next example, I'm gonna see how to create similar code to modify Excel files and merge Excel files and merge using Excel data using my existing Excel files, all right? Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments or questions. I'll be happy to answer them in due time. So have a great and safe day.